Welcome back to another episode of Decentralized Chain is for Oz. And in today's episode, I am going to be catching up with Richard from Saito for our monthly update. And this is one jam-packed with loads of updates and some pretty exciting news. But before we do, if this is the type of content that you like and you want to learn more about crypto, whether it's news, insights, or analysis, to help you get that edge, start now by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. Come and join us over in the Telegram community as well. Plenty of content being shared there. Now, if you haven't had a chance, there is something happening over at Saito.tech. And by the end of this interview, I suspect this should be up and running. And also, I want to mention that we are now at the end of the token vesting schedule for Saito token holders. So that's pretty exciting news as well. So let's find out a bit more what all of this means. Richard, welcome back to the show. Looking forward to uh, conversating about Saito, obviously, and uh, all the great <laughs> updates we have. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a pretty packed agenda today. So it's it's great to be here, but we should probably get cracking. Yep, yep. So let's let's start with uh, the wiki for starters. I mean, mm. what's happening? Well, there? it's um, yeah, wiki and a whole new whole new web presence for us. So ah. I think we dropped the wiki a couple of weeks ago, uh, and people have been having a look at that. Uh, and that's a really, uh, community effort. Mm. Um, what's really cool is. Um, the website is very slick, really polished. We're trying to really step it up a bit in terms of, you know, the look and feel, but mm. also the breadth of the community we reach out to and, and the, the set of tools we use to do that. So we've got more videos, more innovations. Um, you know, Saito is never going to be a thing that you watch something for three seconds and understand completely, but uh, these tools are really designed to help people get into Saito and give people different paths to, mm. to getting to know more. Uh, and that's really great because it's it's also been spearheaded by some community members. So, you know, we haven't done the thing a lot of projects might do, which is just dump a bunch of cash on the table and say to a design agency, make something flashy. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of love gone into this through some core community members that we really appreciate. And it's gotten us to a place we haven't been before in terms of quality and stuff. So it's, it's really great. Super excited. Now, you know, I'm, I'm always excited when uh, when we see that projects, you know, certainly involve the community to help them grow mm. their actual mm. online presence as well. You're right. There's, there's, you know, there's many ways you can go to a marketing agency, you can go to a design agency, put a load of cash on the table, and then, you know, off, off you go, you come up with something, uh, you know, fancy and snazzy. But um, when it's when it's mm. co-created with your community, I, I think I think it's such a powerful it's such a powerful message. To the community as well, because you know you, you're getting involved. You you are part of the journey. Yeah, and I think it it adds to that. Like you can see from that that it's answering community questions yeah. and it's taken in things into perspective that you wouldn't have otherwise. And a lot of the animations and things they reflect the journey that people in the community went on to kind of go from you know zero to one in terms of understanding mm. Sido and getting involved. So that's super cool. Um, and I think the com combination now of the wiki and the website together clean a lot of stuff up. You know, we had sort of different things we created over time to, to house, you know, the web presence and then documentation and stuff. That's all a lot simpler to locate and find now. Uh, and we've got th great things like community projects page up and running where people can go and find out how they can participate and that sort of stuff. So um, I really feel that that's, that's a big step forward to uh, for us and, and should make the whole project much more accessible for people. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to see the, to see the new website up and running and hopefully shortly after our, our interview, actually, by the time this goes out, hopefully it should be up and running. Yeah. Taking a slight risk here because uh, launch time is just after this interview, but I think I think we're safe to say head over to cited.tech and yep. have a look at the new website uh, just after you've completed watching this video, yep. <laughs> and uh, you're in for some you're in for some great. Uh, there's some really nice shiny, uh, and there's also some really great content. There. No, looking looking forward to it. So let's talk a bit more about um, the core project with Insight. I mean, we we had some new staff recently. Um, you know, developers. Developers, well, not recently, yeah. but the last time we spoke, developers joined. Yeah. How how's all that forming? So, final one of the new team arrives on Monday. Um, good news so far is that the developers are adapting to the quirky ways of the Saito yeah. team <laughs> uh, pretty well and and fitting in. It's been great, actually. It's always lovely to have that uh, injection of new blood and stuff, and people asking the questions. You know, that the new people will ask. Yeah. Sort of watching someone fresh to stuff. Um, and they've also done, you know, they've also started really contributing, and that's amazing. 
You know, uh, so, yeah. one of the other major things actually is um, vesting. Vesting. We're, we're, at, we're at the end of the vesting stage, right? I know. It's um, it's come up on us like all anniversaries, I yeah. think, do. Um, and this really puts the project in, you know, people have been following along with the roadmap we kind of set out last November. and things. It puts us into a new big phase with the project yeah. um, where we're kind of out in the clear. And I think what people will see is that, you know, those early supporters who gave us the, you know, the cash essentially to yeah. make sure we could keep moving. And, you know, uh, we've got some great supporters in that group and we've got some people who've, you know, moved moved out. And the good thing is that that's happened in a way that, that that's gone to community, that's gone to people who are really interested in the project. Uh, and it puts us in a space now where I feel like a good analogy is clear air, right? That's yeah, that's getting, it. That's getting taking off, and you know that that's essentially what the project does. You know, the IDO is a kind of wheels up, and yep. now we're we're cruising in clear air. A lot of the admin and this that and the the sort of management around that that sort of thing will go away, and the team can really focus on moving ahead. And people who come in and get involved now know know the ground really clearly because it's so it's so obvious. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always you know it, it it's always a conversation topic within communities. Uh, you know, as as you get closer mm. to any type of vesting vesting schedule, it's always like, oh look, are we going to suddenly see a dump? You yeah. know, it. it whether you, whether you see it or you don't, there's always that fear in the background. Oh, I'm going to involve oh, yeah. these private buyers. Oh, are they going to tank? You know, and, and I think this this is really cool it, because it's a breath of fresh air, really, in a way. Yeah, right. Well, it's it's funny because you know, obviously, if people you, you get the I know you know I know you know nonsense yeah. happening as well. So people people predict the dump. So everyone's oh, I've sold you know, I've sold things. I've got fiat ready or yeah. I've got, you know. <laughs> Yeah, denominated, ready to come in, swoop in, and then if everyone's thinking that, you don't get much of a dip. And then, no, <laughs> and then exactly. Like, oh, yeah, no, no, oh no, it's no. too late. It's and and, and, and <laughs> that, that, that's sort of fun, but it's not really what we're about. And um, what really matters to me is that yeah, everybody who's involved now can can see a clearer and, and smoother you know, path forwards. So yeah, no, exactly. So let's jump on and talk a bit more about tech. I mean, you've got a new game coming out, right? Uh, yeah, launched earlier this week. It's been a kind of bumper week. Things bun- bunch up. Mm. Um, uh, Settlers of Saitoa, um, you know, sort of island trading game of the sort people might be familiar with. I um, mean, the cool thing is, I'm just looking at some stats here, and it's been doing more than 50% of, a, of the game numbers over the last couple of days. So it's kind of launched a bit of fanfare. People are obviously enjoying it. Um, and we're getting really good feedback as well. So I'm, I think that's... Um, you know, it's a nice thing to get out there, but the other thing, it's the first product kind of of the ramping up dedicated team mm. who are working on that side of a, as a kind of product. Um, and so I think people will be able to see there, there's a, there's a level of polish and finish uh, we haven't seen before. And I think that'll just keep accelerating as we bring in more dedicated skills, you know, and then the team get better at this, this sort of thing. And it's also having some on effects into the quality of everything else we do and, and what we know about the network and, and how it works. What's this I've been hearing about uh, generic crypto being sent around via the uh, Saito team? Right. So this is another feature we we um, preempted, I think, late last year, and we've kind of been working on in, in bits and pieces as time permits, mm. really, uh, across the team. But what we've had in the last, I think last time I spoke to you, we, I, I mentioned we're, we're, we're working on it um, quite heavily. Uh, you know, in our, on our test networks, people are, are sort of sending around random things like Tron or, or other, other low fee tokens uh, on inside Saito. Yeah. So that's, that's good. So we're using, you know, triggers in apps, et cetera, or just the UI to send a few of this or that to each other. Uh, and that's pr- proving out phase, but that's just amazing what that opens up for developers who are working with Saito. So really excited about where that's going. Um, obviously, things that are going to be do- sending crypto, yeah. and going, you know, other cryptos are going to need to be tested within each of their lives to make sure that's all buttoned <laughs> up, but it, it's looking really good. And uh, also, I've been hearing about this exciting new feature that you guys are working on. Right. Well, one of the things that's come up, and this is I was, I was alluding to with the, the, the new staff coming on, uh, just one of the new guys has pulled out something we kind of threw to him as an idea, and he's really run with it and taken it. And it's basically integrating uh, WebRTC features in browsers, and that's the stuff that lets you do video and audio streams uh, point to point. Uh, and the idea there is really if we can bring it all together, it's making Saito the central hub and taking out 
so it's making the chain and, and the, that decentralized infrastructure mm. the connector for the peer to peer connections instead of having something that's nice and peer to peer, except for the fact that you rely on a centralized entity to, to yeah. store your data and give you permission and hook you up and find you on the internet and so forth. So, again, early stages, but we've been playing with a prototype and it's pretty cool. So, kind of again, and devs will probably hate me teasing this and then they're still working on it. They're like, they'll be like, you don't realize there's all these things we haven't solved for yet. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's great to see that kind of uh, stuff coming out. And it's also great to have, you know, kind of having new staff just come and show, you know, new skills and capacities and bring, bring the team up another level. So great fun. Wow. So that's a, that's a quick whistle stop tour, to be honest today, but um, <laughs> there is a, there is a lot, there is, there is a lot packed into our, into our session today. So I'm, mm. I'm really excited. I am really excited. So yeah. uh, I suppose the next step is after this interview, hopefully by the time I've released this and you've got your website up and running, then uh, mm. where do they need to go, Richard? Uh, Saito.tech. There you go. You've heard it here. So this is a brand new website. Let's see how that comes along. Yeah. Good. Well, Richard, look, let's catch Thank up you. again, as we always do next month, hopefully, mm-hmm. or the month after, with some more updates. But um, amazing, amazing yeah. stuff so far. It's it's always enjoyable, and like I said, it's great to see how much is it happens in between. Sometimes yeah. you know a lot of behind the scenes, the scene stuff, and sometimes there's a lot of like stuff gets rolled out uh, in the interim. But it's it's uh, you know always good to catch up. Love love these chats. Perfect. Cheers, Richard. Catch up with you soon.